फॉर टू ऑल सभा में उपस्थित सभी आप्तजन मंच पर उपस्थित आप्तजन मेरे सहपाठी मेरे ही कॉलेज के डॉक्टर पद्माजा जी डॉक्टर त्रिपाठी जी और बाकी सभी यहाँ उपस्थित ऑल आई कैन सी ऑल द फैकल्टीज माई डियर फ्रेंड्स हियर एंड कलीग्स एंड माई स्टूडेंट्स एंड द स्टूडेंट्स ऑल ओवर द कंट्री आई कैन से सो टूडे द टॉपिक वॉज फॉर आई यू फॉर हेल्थ हैप्पीनेस वेलनेस सो हियर वी सी आई रियली मॉडिफाइड अ बिट जस्ट ट्यूंड इट बिकॉज आई फाउंड द हैप्पीनेस थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड एंड ग्लोबली वी ऑल नो वॉट इज हैपनिंग डू वी एग्री विद दिस Yes, we are going with योग Now one step ahead with millet. Millet was a national thing, which was seen as a down market thing. But now see, when it rose, organic again it was a down market thing. But when it rises, the same sugar, so the same rise as the industrial revolution had come, and the British when they took over to India, I would like to go a bit not into our. Uh, just into the topic but why the distortion of ayurveda without the raja ashray what happened to our science we can know that and validation required today for everything research was already there because it is apta vachan we all know we have our guna we have our karmas so but we have to validate in their language of what is the plant material how it is seen under the microscope how the validation comes from path labs i wish in a decade we abolish all this and stand for our own guna karmas and this will be a validated research as we practice swastham as we practice the day to day routine regimens of ayurveda we can just establish without validating and wasting time i think so this is my personal thing the language of the world has to be established now people go for see we now see after covid times it was a boon for ayurveda how we know our guruji has been a boon so guruji now people everybody knows tulsi everyone knows so but india was a traditional country where in people were god fearing and that is how our traditions were established by telling ki daily aap tulsi lijiye teerth mein lijiye तो देखिए तीर्थ में तुलसी पर पत्ता डलता था कि आपके दांत ना खराब हो बिकॉज आवर पीपल न्यू मर्क्यूरी वॉज देयर सो सच ए ब्यूटिफुल साइंस कि चबा के नहीं खाया जाता घर घर आयुर्वेद जो स्लोगन मिला तो वहां पर हमने यही देखा कि एवरी थिंग इज एस्टेब्लिश ओनली द नेम ऑफ रिलीजन हैज बीन अटैच सो हियर इफ यू डू सो यू विल बी गुड तो आपका स्वास्थ्य का माध्यम था ये and people used to follow with the invasions what happened we know all the invasions i can proudly say yes what has happened to our science which was a ancient science and we say it is sashvatam still it is still going on why it is going on without any validation it is going on now we are trying to be putting into their shoes hippocrates came just 200 years before after that we know the history how our science went throughout the silk route and it has established into china south korea and it has gone to yunnan that is greece and susruta was known as sausurad and it comes as yunani medicine and we india always was the absorber we all absorbed what we has as yunani medicine it is a great science again because it is a herbal made into a halwa that's all but the posht that is bhasmas are same again when we look at the history of homeopathy which is the second largest practiced and it is a very we know like cures like when when we say samanya vriddhi karanam the same principle comes there and i'm proud that uh, dr haniman has adopted that so i find everything comes from ayurveda the veda which was not known to be written by humans and so the, here we go with hita hitam sukham dukham ayus tasya hita hitam manam cha tatcha yatroktam ayurvedam sa uchyate so hit ayu ahit ayu abhi hum log kehte hai lifestyle modification modification kaise chahiye 
we see so many genes coming up see 10 years ek modulation mein aata hai drug ya type and it disappears ayurveda has never disappeared our vyayam ka maan wahi hai when we say ardhabalam yes ardhabalam ayurveda is customized we don't say uh, ki, we, we did not see people dying like that with a stroke and we doing the gym still india practices now today's call for i take this platform to tell you that yes you call us on this platform maintain your swasthya with principles of ayurveda show the world how we get up how we were the early riser the metabolism starts with sunrise it ends with sunlight sunset we all know that how many are practicing the diet practices which starts at sunrise and sunset no when we say you have eyesight why don't we follow the kriya kalp right from the beginning we know aging had we known we would not have colored our hair nasya how it helps taladharanam oiling our hair can keep your face glowing without any creams we were not knowing all these things so the great science of metaphysics is in ayurveda where it is a biochemical reaction going on in the body and the biochemical reaction has to be balanced by vata pitta kapha only this much is there and how we go around just beating around the bush so here hit ayu ahit ayu all our practices which was mentioned by sukha ayu and dukha ayu when you are ailing throughout and we know we are following dukha ayu nowadays you cannot stand for 1 hour 2 hours and you are finding pain that is dukha ayu hit ayu means all happy so we don't give importance to the body we are giving importance to the mind so yoga yoga and yoga we know everyone how many of you are practicing the ashtanga yoga the yama and niyam the main thing of pratyahar and where we do not alp, we how many of us are contented with alpa sanchiti contentment accepting destiny these are the morals and ethics taught in every household of india not only in ayurveda because veda is in uh, india so here uh, okay can you go back please back one more yes the main objective is dharma artha kama moksha our first line in ayurveda is based on this swasthya mantra ki you follow dharma dharma is not religion dharma is practices then arth yes you earn in a right way so that you are not guilty once not guilty your mind is stable and you don't go with mental disorders then kama and moksha the evolution india was never a invader because we believed when the rest of the world was just in stone age we were evolving the soul that is our philosophy next please the pancha mahabhut the balancing of 70% water we all know but just balancing of the pancha mahabhutas the main agni the concept i think we we'll lose out on one one nobel prize each year i am coming to be my last slide wherein we give importance to agni and that is the main thing has to be catered to we will know in a uh, uh, small while next please now we know prevention is better than cure so why go for the rest of the things follow the practices as i was talking and we can prevent many things body free of diseases better functioning better performance and better productivity next please now ahara see is green revolution a major cause of our alteration in diet as i said the britishers they along when they invented in uh, 1950s there was the industrial revolution and they put to practice the brown rice was taken off from the tribals from indian system and they started polishing the rice polishing kar kar ke kar kar ke abhi hum diabetes mein land up ho gaye the genes are trained like that and slowly we are landing into this and now people say organic ab wo mehenga ho ke aa raha hai brown bread mehenga ho ke aa raha hai what a plight we have because we have not respected our own system so here the international year of millets as as i said the millet is getting popularized the indian population which were was eating only millets only on festival days we used to have sweet and that was the thing which 
was not giving any disease in those times and the 100 year span was good next please the vihara the bodily activities matter and they make a huge difference in our lives i am really thankful to the organizers for today's food ahar it was a typical south indian food but when we go to any of our conferences we find so much of paneer so much of masala so much of dessert first and then we end up eating dessert last why don't we follow madhuram adav payasam should be eaten first so that there is no gastritis was the first mantra why don't we follow ashta vidhi vishesh ayatan what is given in our books so i think i will advocate that only now we all know i will not go with this gaming social media and all which where we lose out our own mental illness and the sattva rising the control comes from fasting the control comes from your own avoiding of all ill things in life so how much control do we have on our mobile how much you are going to be in that in the social media is your own control show it to the world that insomnia does not come by practices of ayurveda we will not go with all these vices although you should be updated but we will be avoiding next please nidra now again we will lose out instead of wasting time on validation of whatever is established i feel when we see ahar vihar and nidra the importance of sleep sleep how to sleep when to sleep when to wake up all these things if you matter the next generation in next 5 years you will find mental illness to be on the high so this we are going to address these are the challenges we are going to respect now so now we all know how vata increases simple vata increases we said nidra nahi hone se headache aayega kisi ko as per constitution kisi ko body pain aayega kisi ko low productivity rahegi to kis prakar se isko address karna hai to maintain your general health to maintain swasthya which is the uh, main theme of today next please can i now the dinacharya as i say i feel there are some vaidyas i worked in pune prior to be in shillong and there i find they do not go out without oiling their children school children they are maintaining the practices of ayurveda very and the hygiene way the indriyas the mana how cutthroat competition is going on how much control you have your with your promotions with your going upgradation are we content with what we have is the main counseling we should be doing to the patients to get better results so promoting health and longevity without any guilt comes from proper practices of dinacharya keeps harmony and peace next please so brahma murta uttishthe how many of us get up i am talking because i am practicing i am 50 plus i am without specs so this is it but it works this is what we want why i don't say about my hair because i color it i want the younger generation to practice and to maintain got it the nasya definitely helps i have told my younger interns to go with shirshasan daily they can do it easily not in this age and shirshasan has helped to recover with their graying of hair so when we say chavan prash is advertised the saurabh ganguly madhuri dikshit giving advertisements but we go with them chavan prash how to eat when to eat we know advocate that in the patients next please and we know pineal glands are active with brahma murt the gurukul system is to start early in the morning not in the evening now japan has stopped the classroom session the classrooms are in the open in the nature ayurveda is nearby to nature here we find i have i worked in aurangabad for some time in a dental college and ayurveda college together so we put up a presentation of paper where in i said your dental thing colgate pamuli was very on high in 92 so at that time i told ki our twig easily chewing will enhance the quality of the molars and your cheek circulation your maintaining of tone of the face so longevity and anti aging is good and you put up brush uske aage aap usko ek folder mein dal rahe ho paisa de kar ke 
more of fungus more of moisture how does it uh, serve the purpose of getting you healthy hygienic so this is wrong again when we go with neem twig bubble twig acacia it is mostly tikta ras kashaya ras which and lavan salt should be there i used to say in those times now colgate gets salt in so our reformations our research was validated when they got to know now they are using it so salt will give you stravanam so the whole of the cuff will come out there is agni vardhanam with lavan ushnagun there is snigdagun lavan which will which is again will not cause acidity throughout the day so such a wonderful science and we have kept it at bay so this is the concept cleaning of the tongue which was given with the metallic thing i won't go into detail all our ayurveda uh, uh, graduates so i won't be going into that next please now gandush and kaval we are working oil pulling a therapy a gaya hai where it is working only few doing again if you do oil pulling the danta dardhyakar avastha will come so it will strengthen your gums so how best if your gums are good if your teeth are good aging and your food metabolism digestion will be good next please the anjana therapy now we have shahnaz hussain was the first lady to go with anjan uh, i really applaud for her because she has got trifala into kajal and trifala if you put instead of lakme if you go daily with trifala that is a natural anjan which will clear your eyes and that was the concept with anjana next please dhumrapana now i won't talk much about it because we all know our dhumrapana is different from the dhumrapana today so all youngsters i request to save your liver save your lungs next please the nasya nasahi shiraso dwaram everybody knows and how the basal pituitary gland lying in the cella tarsica uska poshan hota hai oiling se we all know the whole body is made up of lipids that is the cell membrane the scientist every sage every rishi was a scientist in those times and that is how they knew that the lipid membrane only lipids gets across so that is how we go and give importance to nasya whether it is shodhana nasya samana nasya or daily nasya next please vyayamam now i have spoken ardha balam we cannot say 45 minutes to the adult as we do not talk about balanced diet we do not say two chapati one cutter of rice we do not say it is only agni which is important for us next please abhyanga so now only you come from office pain ek dolo le lo ek paracetamol le lo which is easily available our people said abhyanga why don't you make this a uh, easy thing give your maid daily 20 rupees that will save your kidneys because dolo is going to act on the kidneys combi flame is going to act on the kidneys later in life with a quotation without with a warning we do agree to take it but we do not want to practice sambahanam and abhyangam next please udvartana again you see varicosity in today's world varicosity is on the high with udvartana it gives immense results next please snana so we all know now they start snan pairon se kiya jaye ya sar se kiya jaye सर से करने के बाद स्ट्रोक आएगा या कार्डियक प्रॉब्लम होगा सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स हैव बीन एस्टेब्लिश इन आवर साइंस एज पर द रीजन एज पर द सीजन सो वी ऑल शुड बी गोइंग विथ इट नेक्स्ट प्लीज अनुलेपना तो अनुलेपन इज द फेस मास्क व्हाट वी आर गेटिंग नाउ एड इज सो नेक्स्ट प्लीज देर इज अ डूज एंड डोंट्स फॉर वस्त्र धारण वस्त्र धारण वॉट यू वेयर Indians always advocate the upper garment and the lower garment should not touch each other to avoid infection we all are aware they, wherever there is shrotas wherever there is a external exit there is mala and there is infection and that is how the upper garment and the lower garment should not be touching each other now but what we have adopted not with the we, india is a tropical country still we are wearing what is in fashion in vogue 
so when we go with junes it's not that i don't use it use is as per the season as i said as per the climate you are using jeans together with the uniform together in all parts of the country and there gets because i am a gynecologist i get many cases where i just do not give the drug i stop the clothing proper clothing should be given where moisture should not be trapped infection doesn't occur pada tran dharana so pada ta isme ek importance tha some people may be from kolhapur so indians were well aware ki whenever you use a uh, chappals jo bhi hum bolenge to aaj hum woodlands ko prefer karte hain aaj hum branded prefer karte uske andar oil lagaya jata tha again lipids jab oil lagaya jata tha to aapka sole mein koi infection cracks nahi honge vat ka sthan wahan se paripurit ho ke your eyesight is good वंस वी ऑल नो ब्रास का हम लोग लेकर के सोल को घसते हैं तो ये सब प्रैक्टिस वी आर डूइंग इट रेगुलरली आई वॉज डूइंग एट पूना इन माई क्लिनिक आई एम डूइंग एट शिलोंग आई हैव स्टार्टेड ब्रास को मंगाइए हाउ कॉपर जिंक सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एलॉय हेल्प्स वॉज द साइंटिफिक विजन ऑफ अवर सेजेस टाइम सो नेक्स्ट प्लीज सो एज पर द सीजन एज आई सेड वी हैव डायट स्पेसिफिक we are supposed to use in that manner next please because you know punjabi food getting here lassi paneer roz khao aur fir aap fat ko accumulate karo diabetes ho jayega andhra mein hum log dahi khate hai pickles khate hai wahi pickle aur dahi aap aur anya jagah mein khaiye to problem hoga gujarat mein chhanch important hai why because coastal region is in kerala coastal region is in bengal andhra but still in gujarat if you go the vayu is ruksha and sheet it is more of rukshata therefore chhanch wahan par important hai so region wise season wise all these things matter so my friends we all will definitely save ayurveda if we go with all these practices next please now we all know dhyan dharana samadhi the concentration power how it helps how to maintain the body and the soul next please next please the non violence the truth practices how much are we doing we violate these things day in and day out by immediately thinking that the other person doesn't know and that causes a small amount of guilt in the subconscious and that is how you cannot be healthy the organ suffers aap samjho nahi samjho the body is very smart it will take up the hormones which are released next next please next so do ayurveda is full of do's and don'ts so we have so many regimens we have this jata karma follow this jata karma we have this young life practices we have perimenopausal every menopausal woman i don't remember in the past 30 years having menopausal issues because it was gracefully done naturally nowadays we read a lot we incorporate a lot and we do not practice the diet lifestyle and we end up with hot flushes insomnia so no graceful perimen and that time you give shatavari kalp nothing helps so counsel the patients on this on what all i spoke i give a package whenever you have done a bms when we have aped and we have gone into instead of ashtanga ayurved we have done the uh, branches and we forget the basic thing whenever you practice you practice with this and you get better results next please again i said vitamin d is abundant the pharma company sells calcium low calcium how come so you get up early in the morning go for a normal walk go for some nice hard exercises and definitely sunlight should be showing up on your uh, body and that's how we get natural sunlight next please vitamin d large mass it has a diverse culture it has traditions and food next please we have su prajanan and suvarna prash i am practicing su prajanan chikitsa with all the dietary regimen no iron no calcium and you find the patient does not bloat the garbhini paricharya antenatal care of ayurveda will not allow the patient to bloat that is how our people had 8 to 9 children without bloating without pih 
So this is important. Swarna Prashan is already popular. I won't be speaking on this. Gold is the best thing which has earned to have uh, an immunomodulatory effect. And that is how uh, our Swarna Prashan has gained. There is importance of Pushya Nakshatra. Why that Nakshatra? Why that tree? It is so such a deep science of astrology and medical connection. Next, please. The circadian rhythm, we all know. Now, we lost on circadian rhythm, the sleep timings and all, the Nobel Prize has gone. But in the coming years, we will lose out on 8 hours of Nidra will cause some good immunity. Somebody will prove it before we do it. So, next please. Next. See the Nobel Prizes, the autophagy. When our people used to say fasting, again I told you India had God-fearing people. So science ko imply kiya gaya hai apne dharma ke andar. Aur dharma kuch nahi hai vaha par. It is only a practice to tell, aap guruwar ko fast kijiye, aap ekadashi ko fast kijiye, to aapka autophagy gaya Japanese ko. To circadian bhi chala gaya. The receptors of touch, that has gone, which are all principles of Ayurveda. Just I would definitely like to tell you about Eka Dashi, the new moon and the full moon. Many of us may be knowing through practices of religious books. But I would like to tell you, when our body is 70% of water, the universe has water and the moon influence on the sea. The sea has high tides with moon affecting on the earth. Yatha Pinde Tatha Brahmande, when we say everything which is outside is inside and inside the body has got this reflection. And therefore, when you fast on that day, four days before and four days later, and if you fast on that day, your autophagy is going to happen, less cancer people. We are going on a study, I myself practice this and definitely getting good results, you feel more fresh with autophagy because you are giving a break to the machine which is going on working. With Dhatu Kshay, it will go down more and more. So these are the things, a few things. I wanted to discuss one case of low AMH. With all this package, I have treated that patient, but I don't have time, I know. So next, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. First of all, I would like to invite Mr. Arvind Gare. Please come on the stage. Very good evening to everybody. So, a warm welcome to all the dignitaries here. And I'm really surprised to see so many Ayurvedic presentations throughout the day. There are so many homeopathy presentations and the poster presentations happening here. And probably I think I'm the only physiotherapist presenting a paper presentation here. So, we have done a case ankylosing spondylitis in our center. And our center is an integrated approach center. It's called Ojaska. And we practice physiotherapy, Ayurveda, and allopathy. So we have a combination of treatments. And we, each and every patient, with th all the three consultants will sit together and consult a patient. And we make a treatment protocol and give a treatment according to the combination of each and every program. So this is an ankylosing spondylitis case. And we have done about two to three months of treatment for him. So, we'll just go through the slides. Next slide. So, ankylosing spondylitis is a chronic back pain with progressive spinal stiffness, impaired spinal mobility, post abnormalities, buttock pain, hip pain. He has radiating pain on the uh, greater trochanter and he has reduced mobility, stiffness and everything. And this is because of HLAB 27 positive. Next slide. Back. Next, next. Huh. The clinical sense we see here is back pain is 9 out of 10 when he came. Uh, Vascular is 9 out of 10. And pain is night whenever he sleeps. No? At the time of early in the morning, his pain is very severe and he couldn't get up in the beginning. And later, after one, two hours of waking up, he's more relaxed. And spinal stiffness, immobility, postural changes like he's like forward bending and he couldn't bend completely. Progressive spinal stiffness, spine sacroiliac joints, peripheral joints and disease. Impaired spinal mobility, postural abnormalities, diminished 
chest wall expansion he couldn't even breathe completely his inspiration and expiration capacity were low he couldn't even take a deep breath for 3 to 4 seconds maybe while we were taking examinations next slide integrated approach physiotherapy and ayurveda we can see that his spine is completely tilted to one side is not just the lfs one we can also see his body is completely tilted to one side and we did did for 3 months and we can see the slight changes in the spine physiotherapy sessions are planned al alongside of ayurvedic internal medicine and panchakarma therapies vasti and other panchakarma therapies oil therapies has been done along with physiotherapy so we used to have an exercise session for him for 1 hour or 45 minutes and during physiotherapy we used to have equipments called magnetotherapy facial release techniques and other exercise mobility techniques along with that we used to do him panchakarma oil therapies and vasti treatments and all so internal ayurvedic medicine along with magnetotherapy physiotherapy exercises in proper coordination has helped to reach complete rvm on posture changes for the patient next slide design of study method of treatment we have planned three phases of treatment and in phase 1 we used facial release techniques for the full spine and the greater trochanter buttocks and the calf glutes and everything magnetotherapy for about 6 sessions for 30 minutes per day where we did locally wherever he has pain we used to apply a device called magnetotherapy Excellent. In phase two, we started with breathing exercises, diaphragm breathing, echo breathing, uh, basic hip mobility exercises, neck shoulder mobility exercises, and foam rolling technique, where we used to make him lie down on the foam on yoga mat and used to roll on the spine. And results are we saw that 80 percent of pain has been reduced. It's three out of ten and two out of ten. Range of motion has increased. in phase 3 we did 4 weeks low intensity resistance exercises ankle weights of 1 kg weight in the first phase we did only mobility exercises second phase we did active exercises and third phase we did resistance exercises where we are trying to progressive and increase the weight on the body so that we are we are trying to increase the muscle bulk and the muscle girth next slide and in the first phase we did this is called manual therapy device and the next one is also a facial release device the third one is the manual techniques that we used to do over the spine and the lo lower limbs in first phase we saw about 70% of pain reduction and in the second phase we can see that hip abduction we have see the changes in the first phase and the second phase this took about 15 to 20 sessions for us to make these changes next and in the third phase we see that 90% of pain has been reduced and he is able to do all the movements you can see that hip flexion forward bending and changes are very great and i observed that previously I am a physiotherapist. I have been practicing for past 13 years. We only do physiotherapy along with allopathy, and this is the first time I have collaborated with Ayurvedic Center, and we are doing wonderful. I didn't expect that we can see such a fast, great pain relief with Ayurvedic medicine. We were doing therapies like IFT, ultrasound, other modalities, but this is the first time I have seen the result in combination with Ayurveda, and the results are very fast, and the recurrence is very, very slow. If it is only physiotherapy, there are some recurrences. for the pain stiffness mobility whenever there is inflammation the mobility reduces but in combination with ayurveda i have noticed that the recurrence is very very low even in the cold climates even in the hot climates everywhere the stiffness is very very low and he is able to do all the movements now now we are having one hour session for him and he is only doing the exercises along with internal medicine of ayurveda we have our uh, doctor here dr madhuri mooli and dr bindu who has supported me for to do this case completely and they are with me guiding me in every step next slide thank you all our presenter dr manav jyoti comparative clinical study to evaluate the efficacy of upnaha and basti in chronic ankle sprain due to sports injury good afternoon The topic of my presentation is a comparative study, <coughs> comparative clinical study to evaluate the efficacy of Oponaha and Vasti in chronic ankle sprain due to sports injury. Next, next one, next one, please. Yeah. Aims and objective to assess the efficacy of Oponaha with Sothara Mahakasaya in chronic ankle sprain due to sports, sports uh, sorry, sports injury. To assess the efficacy of Basti with Sothara Mahakasaya in chronic ankle sprain due to sports injury. To compare the efficacy of Upanaha and Basti in chronic ankle sprain due to sports injury. Next one. 
Next one, please. Hypothesis. Null hypothesis is there is neither significant effect of upanaha and basti. Alternative hypothesis one, there is significant effect of upanaha then basti. And alternative hypothesis two, there is significant e effect of basti then upanaha. Next one. Next one. These are the inclusion criteria of my study. Patient fulfilling the diagnostic criteria with history of inversion type of ankle sprain due to sports injury. Age from 18 to 45 years, both male and female were taken from my study. Onset of the last injury more than four months, then patient willing to participate for the study and patient suitable for upanaha and basti. Next one. These are the exclusion criteria for my study. The history of fracture, history of any congenital deformity, recent history of surgery of ankle sprain, any musculoskeletal, nervous system, or any rheumatological condition or metabolic disorder related to the ankle joint. Next one. Uh, anterior drawer test and teller twist test. These are the two physical tests for diagnosis of the uh, let chronic lateral ankle, ankle sprain of my patients. Next one. So these are some photographs for during examining the patients. Next one. These are uh, some range of moment and swelling measurements. Next one. So these are the assessment criteria. Tenderness, swelling, limping, loss of function, range of moment of ankle joint, that is plantar flexion and dorsiflexion, and FADI, that is foot and ankle disability index. Next one. Next one, please. So under FADI, that is foot and ankle disability index, 23 uh, parameters were there. Oh, the all 23 parameters were assessed in my study. Next one, please. Material and methods. Next one. So the common drug for both Upanaha and Basti were Sothara Mahakasaya. Uh, the reference is Sarak Sutra Sthan 4 by 38. Next one. These are the ingredients in Upanaha. So main drug was Sothara Mahakasaya, as I told. Next one. Next one. There are some photographs. Next one. So for the preparation and application of Upanaha. Next one. For the patients. These are some photographs chronologically for Upanaha application. Next one. Okay, next one, please. Okay, next one. So ingredients of Vasti. As I said, the main ingredient is Sothara Mahakasaya, Quat and Kalka from Sothara Mahakasaya only. It was a Yoga Vasti. So uh, uh, Niroha Vasti was then for 80 ml and Anuvasana Vasti was then 120 ml. Next one. Next one, please. So these are the preparation method chronologically for Vasti. Next one. So these are prepared bastis on both Anuvasana and Niruha Vasti. Next one. So these are uh, the administration of both Anuvasana and Niruha Vasti. Next one. So 40 patients were selected from my study. It was divided into group A and group B for 20, 20 patients. And for Upanaha, two sittings one was done. For, uh, at each, one, uh, each sitting was of eight days. And for Vasti was same, uh, eight days sittings of two sittings. And both five, five Anuvasana Vasti and two, uh, three Niruha Vasti, one Yuga Vasti was planned for this. Next one. So protocol of study. Uh, for Upanaha, eight days initial stage, then 16 days Vishrama Kala, then again the second sitting for eight days Upanaha, then again 16 days of Vishrama Kala, and follow-up was done on 49th day. Same uh, procedure or schedule was planned for Yuga Vasti. Next time. Next slide. Okay. Okay, these are the CTRI certification. Next one. This is for randomization of my patients under the www.randomization.com. Next one. This is the statistical analysis. Group A, uh, intra group, Ulcoxon silent test. Group B, Ulcoxon silent test. And intra inter group, Man Whitney test was taken for the assessment. Next one. Next one, please. Please, next one. Okay. Observation and results. Next one. Please, next one. Okay. Uh, total 53 patients were uh, screened. And then uh, uh, under the inclusion and exclusion criteria, 16 were excluded. Then total uh, patients were completed 18 for a group A. And total patient completed 14 for group B. Next one. Results. So these are uh, the group A results. Uh, uh, Wilcoxon sign of These are the parameters of the results. Next one. Next. Next one, next one. 
So these are the uh, percentage of relief for the parameters of group A. Next one. These are next one. Yeah. These are again the parameters of group B. The calculation for the statistics under the Man Whitney test. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next, please. Okay. So this is the percentage of relief for the parameters of group B. Next one. The next one, please. Okay. This is the intergroup uh, comparison with Man Whitney test. Uh, for the parameters of all the parameters uh, for group A and group B. Next one. Next. 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 I am not reading these things. Next, next one. Okay. These are the intergroup uh, comparison, percentage of intergroup compa comparison and bidirectional representation of uh, group A and group B data. Next one. Next, please. Okay. So overall effect of the disease, I can say that 55156 patients showed marked improvement if, uh, in group A, that is Upanaha group, and 7.14% uh, uh, percent shows marked improvement in group B, that is Basti group. Next one. So now the discussion. So all, the, uh, all these assessment criteria were showing highly significant p-value uh, in group A. Next one. The, all the assessment criteria were showing highly significant p-value except FADI 11 and FADI 22, which was significant p-value. Next one. So discussion of the result. When comparing both the groups, all the assessment parameters showed not significant p-value except swelling. FADI 10 and FADI 16 showed, showed swe significant p-value. Whether in uh, percentage relief of both the groups, we find that all the assessment parameters showed mar marginally better result in group A as compared to group B. Next one. That Sothara uh, Mahakasa drugs are Tridusha Samak drug. These are having healing effect and uh, analgesic effect. Conclusion, Upanaha has highly significant result in all the parameters of uh, chronic lateral ankle sprain due to sports injury. Basti has highly significant result in all on the uh, inflammatory markers uh, for Sotehara Mahakasaya. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Nana. So we have very less time, so we have hurry up. Next, I would invite uh, Professor Dr. Sneha, ma'am. Process in atherosclerosis induced rabbits. So it's a PhD work and it's a part of the work which I've been presenting here. And uh, yes, please, next slide. Yeah, please, next slide, please. Next. So what is atherosclerosis? A small introduction before I could go into this uh, deep thing. So it's a killer disease and it's a major cause of death in the world. It often begins in childhood and is not usually evident until middle age or later when arterial lesions precipitate signs and symptoms. De definitely atherosclerosis is not evident unless and until we have the symptoms. Oh, so what does it cause? It can cause stroke when it occurs in carotid artery. It can also cause heart attack when it, ca when it uh, occurs in uh, myocardial vessels as well. And uh, as you know, it's a large number of patients are getting. So going ahead, so to combat the skeletal disease, you know there are a lot of treatments available. There are a lot of uh, perspectives are there, but they are either effective just a little, just symptomatically, or they have no effect on it. So, a large variety of modern drugs have been used to effectively reduce the lipids, which are mainly responsible in the production of atherosclerotic plagues. So, however, these drugs appear not to play any great role in reduction of the plague, though considerable reduction in the lipid levels are possible. So lipid levels can reduce, but still the plague remains. There is no difference in the plague. That's what. So this opens a door for going for a new research. So it is here. So what happens in the history of Unani medicine? Have we seen uh, atherosclerosis? Has atherosclerosis been spoken in Unani literature? That's what I'm going to bring here. So the history of the Sharian, that is the name given to atherosclerosis according to the Unani literature. So, dates back from the teaching of Galen to the hypothesis of Russell Ross. Galen is a physician, a famous Roman physician, who described about the heart and the movement of the blood in the arteries. And Avicenna, a renowned Greco-Arabic physician, postulated book as a part of it, delineated that there are three factors responsible for the obstruction of the blood flow. So, what are the three factors? I have put it here. One is vasoconstriction. That is due to weakness in the huwata dafia. Huwata dafia means to propagate, to, to evacuate things. So failure of that one. 
to next is sudha formation because when there is no propagation there is stagnation when there is stagnation there is formation of any plug or any obstruction so sudha formation and then partic and for, uh, as a, as a result of this there is inflammation so this is one next slide please so this makes us uh, uh, the aims and objectives the aim of this experiment and then uh, it was mixed with coconut oil 4% and 1% of cholesterol uh, coconut, uh, that is cholesterol powder was mixed and given through the gavage orally to the rabbits to increase the lipid levels as well as to create atherosclerosis and uh, de definitely can you show just just a glance i just try to sh have show so the bombyx mori yeah can you see this uh, that is a silk cocoon so it will have a silk moth inside when we cut open we have to take the flak outside cut it into small pieces then we have to process that for the extract hopefully everyone are following me so okay next slide so this is one you can see that the week wise uh, total cholesterol levels in the initial state the same tabular column is been presented as a graphical method everyone could understand this what is it yeah please so you can see that now the total cholesterol levels are coming down in the uh, in the 10th week then 12th week then in the 12th week in, in fact it has shown a quite big swipe but after 12th week it has shown a small decline and definitely it has come to less than 900 in the 18th week so this shows that the drug has worked for a lot yes sir now it is it's an antioxidant so what happens to the oxidant level that we have to see so we can see that sod levels are definitely increased yes sir T bars levels have decreased in this. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, that's what. This is what you can see. The yeah. Please go back. This is the normal. Uh, uh, this thing you can see that uh, the HND of iota of the animal. Yes, please. Yeah, go to the la next slide. Next, next. This is the atheroma created. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now this is the comparative slide. You can see the normal. This is the lesion control, and this is the treated. So this is bombyx mori treated. This is the lesion control where the atheroma. You can see parameters have been coming to normal. Yes, you can go ahead. Go to the level. Yeah. Summary and conclusion. I'll just I'll summarize because there is no time constraint. That's what I'm not able to conclude. Yeah. Please, please, sir. Next. So when I. Go to the last slide, sir. There's no problem. So, and uh, uh, conclusion, it is understood that bombyx mori definitely has a lipid lowering property and definitely is having a uh, anti. Thank you so much, sir. We are having very less time. So, Sneha Bevin Bharat, and today I am here to present a case: scope of homeopathy in improving the life quality in an acute condition not responding to standard of care and evidence based study before starting with the details of the case i would just like to brief about homeopathic approach in such case homeopathy is a science which is based on holistic approach and individualization that means we consider the individualizing symptom of each patient and we prescribe the remedy based on those individualizing symptoms. It means that even though the diagnostic condition of the patient is same, the medicine given may differ from person to person. It was a pre-diagnosed case of acute pancreatitis, hospitalized for five days and not responding to standard of care. Next. Next. The purpose why I selected this case and the novelty was, uh, it was a case of acute pancreatitis patient was suffering a lot with severe pain in abdomen, but modern medicine could not relieve his symptoms. And <coughs> in spite of uh, the diagnosis, uh, it was difficult for them to manage the case. And secondly, acute pancreatitis is very common especially in males between the age of 19 to 45 who are having the predisposing factors of family history and alcohol or tobacco habit and all these three predisposing factors were missing in this case details of the case 
case was of a 28 years old male patient mystery were consistent with acute pancreatitis and patient was not responding to standard of care. Gradual onset of the complaints started two days before hospitalization. He had abdominal discomfort, sticky and blacky stool and reduced appetite and he had to rush to toilet immediately after having food. There was severe squeezing pain in the abdomen. It was radiating to epigastrium and back. The pain was, see the increased values along with the USG which is evident for features of acute pancreatitis. Next. Uh, last year, even one year ago, patient uh, suffered with the similar complaints and he was hospitalized for, uh, hospitalized for three days but at that time he responded well to the modern medicine and he was better. And there is history of diabetes and hypertension in the family. Appetite was reduced from one week, thirst reduced since the complaint, sleep disturbed due to pain and alcohol once or twice a month from eight years he was having. But to be noted, he was not an addict of alcohol or he used to not take it on regular basis. On general examination, patient was stable his vitals were within normal limits and on per abdominal examination it revealed pain on palpation throughout the abdomen and pain on touch in epigastrium and right hypochondrium. Next slide please. <clears throat> holistic approach of the patient to the complaints. Here I would like to brief a little bit what is holistic approach. Uh, as I said, this holistic approach is very important in such conditions for serve in a better way for the humanity. Thank you. Please come on the stage. And honorable speakers, it's been a pleasure to be here. This is Dr. Komali working as a junior doctor in Sai Ganga Pinakya. And now I am present in the case on a new paradigm in palliative care which was done in the polyscientific Ayurveda. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. And here, I am di differentiating the four Nadi Pariksha, which in in indicating the four different individuals, which is related to the cardiovascular event and malignancy, particularly leukemia. Here, a brief about the allopathic details, cardiovascular conditions and malignancy are the forefront of the disease burden in the worldwide. So, its uh, pathophysiology and prevalence and physical factors are very complex because it's a huge disease factor. And coming to the leukemia, and there is acute leukemia and chronic leukemia. They are differentiated based on the symptoms and the condition of worsening. Next slide, please. And here, <laughs> coming to the polyscientific Ayurveda, yeah, we have five prone therapies that is personalized herbal medicines, personalized dietary remedies, personalized detox processes, anointing and physical activities. These are the five prone therapies which we use for the patients to treat them accordingly based on the Nadi Pariksha which predicting the Vata, Pitta, Kapha in seven different tissues and 42 different organs. And here, next slide please. And coming to the case, here two cardiovascular events which is so far the patients get diagnosed. So one patient is having cardiovascular event with hypothyroidism and one cardiovascular patient having undergone stunt with CABG and PCA. And both the patients are cardiovascular. But in our polyscientific Ayurveda, upon the doing Nadi Pariksha, we differentiated Vata, Pitta, Kapha in different uh, organ system. And coming to the malignancy leukemia, they are the 54-year-old female patient attended to the clinic with the help of the caregiver. He, she can't able to walk at the time. And he is having B cell lymphoblastic anemia, which was earlier diagnosed. And another patient, 60 year male patient, diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, uh, already in allopathic diagnosis. So he is taking the treatment since two years earlier, but he is not getting any improved quality of life, any symptom free survival. So these four patients visited to our clinic 
and upon pulse tag and pca here the patient ejection fraction was drastically improved from 40% to 58 another patient with hypothyroidism and cardio artery disease having 55% to 64% it was drastically improved based on the nadi and based on the continuous follow ups taking the medications following the protocol correctly and that means with acute and chronic leukemia we will always look into the blood biochemistry leukocyte count right so the leukocyte count was drastically changed into the normal from severe to normal at the earlier time he is the patient who is suffering with b cell lymphoma she came to the clinic with the help of the caregiver but now she can able to walk she can do her the physical activity she can do the do her regular activity routine factor in every individual we need to look into because the quality of life is improved then the patient able to be healthy and can do the physical routine activity in their diet. Madam Des Pandey, the very nice presentation we have done in this scientific session and especially the key speaker of this session was very imp uh, important personality of the Ayurved and the director of Ceylon Institute, Meghale. And it is luck of all the society that he is here to address us and his Dincharya and Ratcharya and Aharcharya with relevant of the modern lifestyle, he disclosed all the very important points which we know but don't scientifically I cannot explain that. My, Dr. Maheskar had very clearly explained that Ahar Nidra Brahmsya and Richaria, Dincharya. So we are very thankful for Dr. Maheskar. Uh, thank you, Madam. I request all the presenters to come on the stage, please. Dr. NRS Government Ayurvedic College and Dr. ALGH. Vijayawada and uh, uh, an excellent uh, um, speeches by all of uh, you people. You had done a good thing and uh, research means whether it may be a positive thing or a negative one, whatever the thing, it is the research thing. And in this concept, I have found that uh, PSA is the uh, new knowledge that we people are uh, going to learn. Uh, I would congratulate each and everyone who have done these researches and thank you uh, for this wonderful event of this uh, uh, SWAS certificates and memento one by one please I request the chair and co-chair to give certificates and mementos to all the certificates of this session all the participants of this I request all the participants to stay for the group photo. An announcement please. Already the Honorable Governor is at Swasta Expo Con. So we request all the participants from all the sessions to please come to Patanjali Hall wind up this session and resume after this i request once again all the participants from all the halls double hall vaidratnam hall and other plenary halls scientific session halls
all the delegates don't be disappointed just because in paper presentation the highest marks goes to dr sneha thank you sir thank you so much congratulations madam valedictory day sunday